Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And this week I'm sharing four simple and delicious recipes using pasta roni. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe links in the description box. Today I'm making simple skillet chicken stroganoff. You are going to need butter and garlic pasta roni, butter, some chicken breast, and I have sliced them pretty thin. You're gonna need some sour cream and milk, water, fresh mushrooms sliced, and the recipe doesn't call for you to use any seasoning, but I'm gonna use some of this buttery poultry blend on my chicken. So we're gonna start off by adding our chicken and mushrooms to melted butter. adding my seasoning and I'm just going to cook my chicken and mushrooms until that chicken is no longer pink. So my chicken is done cooking and now I'm just going to remove it from the skillet. In that same skillet I'm adding in my water and milk. And I'm just going to let this come to a boil. Now that the mixture has come to a boil, I'm gonna add in my pasta and the seasoning package. And I'm gonna give it a stir and let this boil uncovered for about four or five minutes. So it's been about five minutes and that pasta is cooked through. I'm just adding that chicken and mushroom mixture back into the skillet. And if I didn't mention it, I turned the burner off. And now I'm just gonna add in that sour cream and I'm gonna give it a good stir. And then I'm just gonna let this mixture thicken up a little bit. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. As you can see, it was so easy to make. You've got the richness from the sour cream and the chicken is nice and tender. Serving it with some stir fried broccoli and a breadstick. Today I'm making Italian herb and sausage linguine. You are going to need olive oil and Italian herb pastaroni, some sliced onion and green bell pepper. You're going to need eight ounces of sliced Italian sausage, some water and olive oil. So we're gonna start off by browning our Italian sausage in our veggies. The original recipe actually um, suggest or says that you should add in your veggies the last five minutes of cooking time for the dish but I want my veggies sauteed so and I want them to pick up that flavor of that Italian sausage so I am cooking my veggies with that Italian sausage so my sausage and veggies are finished cooking nice and brown you just saw me add in some water and now I'm adding in a little bit of olive oil and next, I'm going to add in the contents of the pasteroni and that seasoning package. And now I'm just gonna give this a good stir and then I'm just gonna let this simmer um, uncovered for about 10 to 12 minutes or until that pasta is cooked through. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up and this is very tasty, it has a really good flavor and I am serving it with a side of green beans. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we're making Cajun pasta supper. You're going to need a box of garlic and olive oil vermicelli, chopped bell pepper, Creole seasoning, water, shrimp, Italian sausage, and stewed tomatoes. So the first thing we're gonna do is brown our Italian sausage in bell pepper until the sausage is cooked through. And I did take my Italian sausage out of the casing so that it would crumble. Okay, so my meat is done. I just took it out of the pan, put it in another bowl, and now I'm going to add in my stewed tomatoes. And it says undrained, and my water. And one thing I wanted to mention to you um, is that the sausage that I used in the other meal, it only called for half of the package, so I was able to use the other half of the meat today. So that's really kind of a money-saving measure. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil. 
Okay, so now that the mixture is boiling, it's time to add in my pasta, the Cajun seasoning, or Creole seasoning, the seasoning mix from the pasta, and the shrimp. And I'm going to let this um, boil uncovered until that pasta is tender and that shrimp is cooked through. So my pasta is finished cooking. Now I'm adding that Italian sausage and those bell peppers back into the mixture. Gonna give it a good stir. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat so that sauce can thicken up a little bit. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. This is not super spicy, it's pretty mild to me, but if you're sensitive to spice, then I would probably cut down on that um, Creole slash Cajun seasoning. And I am serving it with some leftover broccoli that I had in the fridge and some garlic bread that I popped in the air fryer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making cheesy beef corkscrew. So you are going to need four cheese corkscrew pasta. You're gonna need some ground beef. I'm using lean so I don't have to worry about draining it after I cook it. I'm gonna season my ground beef with the hamburger um, grill shaker seasoning. You don't have to season it with, you know, whatever you'd like. You're gonna need some butter, water, and milk. So we're gonna start off by browning our ground beef and I'm just sprinkling in some of that hamburger seasoning. So my meat finished cooking, now I am adding in my water, milk, and my butter, and I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. Now that the mixture has come to a boil, I'm just adding in my pasta and the seasoning packet that came with it. Gonna give it a good stir, reduce the heat to medium, and let this simmer uncovered until that pasta is done. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up and it is very tasty, nice and savory. And I am serving it with green beans and a breadstick. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. If you like this video, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy dinners using convenient pantry items. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.